Good morning. I hope everybody is doing well and that you are blessed. I wanted to make this video because I felt extremely strong in my spirit that the Lord was prompting me. You know, honestly, I, I got to tell you something that I actually don't make any videos unless the Lord leads me to. I, I'm convinced of that. I, uh, I don't have any agenda. Uh, I'm not trying to get anybody to, to join a church. I'm not trying to get anybody to, to give me money. I'm not trying to get, get anybody to uh, be part of a club. What I am trying to do is send a warning. A warning that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is, is doing everything from signs to dreams to warnings to events going on in the world to awaken not only the sleeping church but those who do not know him. Jesus Christ loves you with a love so deep that he will use every opportunity and every means possible that will open your eyes to him. I please want you to just think about that. He loves you. Please hear this. He loves you. He does not want even one to perish. There's so many things going on in the world right now. Gosh, I, I just can't keep saying this enough. He loves you. Please hear these words. Jesus Christ is at the door. He is knocking. Will you open the door for him? If you are a uh, one who calls himself a Christ follower who has no relationship with Jesus, please, today, rekindle that relationship. Seek him, run after him, speak to him, pray to him. Call him. Call him back into your, into your life. He's waiting for you. Maybe you did some things that, uh, that were shameful. Or you're living in a lifestyle that is shameful and you know it. And you think the Lord hates you. That's not the truth. He loves you. But he will not tolerate sin. He is not going to embrace sin. He's not going to partner with sin. But he will make a way. He'll make a way for you. All you have to do is just turn to him, repent, seek him, call out to him, pray to him. He loves you. And if you do not know Jesus Christ, just ask him into your heart. Scripture tells us if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, is your Savior, if you repent from your sins, if you ask for forgiveness for the things you've done, if you truly, truly want to commit your life to him, if you believe in his death, his burial, and his resurrection, the finished work on the cross, you will be saved. Trust and believe in that. Today, you need to do this, please. This is a warning message. This Right now, this is the love of Christ, and soon his wrath will take place. His wrath will fall upon the earth. His wrath will consume the earth. Again, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, will utilize every opportunity to lead as many as possible to him. I feel strongly that there's going to be some things happening very soon, not only in our nation, but also throughout the world. The internet completely changed the course of human history. It's already begun. It's already been happening. And you know what I mean by that. There's so many things going on right now that are unprecedented, have never happened throughout human history. And yet people still have their 
heads in the sand. And I'm talking about believers. Today, please, open your heart and your eyes to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Jesus loves you. He's warning you. He's been warning you. He's been sending messages. He's been sending people. He's been sending signs. Everywhere you can imagine. Just open your eyes. Stop for just one second and open your eyes. I truly am convinced we are never going to go back to the way we were. Nothing is ever going to be the same because the Lord is warning us. And again, like I mentioned before, he'll use every opportunity, he'll use everything possible to awaken people. The love of Jesus Christ. He loves you. But scripture is very clear. The wrath of God will soon fall upon the world. And again, he will use every opportunity. Very soon, our Savior will appear in the clouds. Jesus Christ will appear in the clouds and call up and catch up those who truly love and follow him. This is scriptural. This is not debatable. This will happen. Listen. I know many have been arguing over this fact. But regardless, not believing in it or ignoring it is not going to change the fact that it's going to happen. It will happen. And I am convinced that directly that after that event, that, that Christians true Christ followers call the rapture of the Lord where he takes again those who truly love and follow him up with him into heaven it's you know Christ says he like I'm gonna go prepare a place for you and he's gonna bring us into the wedding supper just as the wrath falls upon the earth Listen, everything you see today is going to change. Your life is going to change. To the true believer, their life is going to completely change because they're going to be caught up and they're going to be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, they're, they're in a glorified bodies and they'll be taken caught up into heaven. For those who are left behind are going to have to endure some seriously tough times through the tribulation. I know I've said this countless times and over and over and over again. I've been putting up the warning as many others have as well. Jesus loves you and he's given you an opportunity. Uh, there, there's a small window of time. Now, if you are left here, if you are left behind after the rapture, there is still one more opportunity. Scripture tells us that more than likely, and I'm pretty much 100% convinced that everybody is going to have to give their life. Now, there will be those who probably die in this time from other things, but Scripture tells us that you will have to give your life it means be executed for Jesus Christ. Scripture is clear about this. You can bypass this by committing your life to Christ right now. You do not have to endure the tribulation. Now, with that being said, we may have to go through some trials. Not only here in America, but throughout the world. We have to go through some trials before the rapture happens. I... I can't tell you exactly when the rapture is going to happen. I feel it is extremely close. Hours, 
days, maybe weeks away. It's hard to say. I'm just sharing with you what the Lord has been placing in my heart, what the Lord has been telling me. Something is going to happen very soon. Many have been getting prophetic words, prophetic dreams from the Lord about judgment happening. At least uh, here in America, and I believe it'll happen throughout the world before the rapture. Now, again, I don't have a specific timeline, but I feel it's very soon. And if you look at uh, many uh, dreams and visions that uh, fellow Christ followers have been getting, it's happening in beginning right now. Please today. You can avoid the tribulation. You can enter in a peace and a joy that is hard to explain in anticipation of the Lord's return to remove you before calamity strikes. He's making a way for you. Just this video is just, just preparing your heart. Prepare yourself. This is a warning. Jesus Christ is at the door. He is knocking on your heart. Will you open the door? Will you open it for him? Will you submit and surrender to him? Trust and believe and have a committed life to him. Time is short. Jesus Christ love you, loves you. And his love is being poured out through warning after warning after warning. Soon, the things that will come upon the earth, the Lord will allow to happen. After he moves his people, the great tribulation will hit because he is giving everybody that last opportunity to surrender their lives to him. Even if it means death, proclaiming Jesus Christ. There will be many who will be saved during the tribulation, but why go through it? Scripture tells us it's going to be the most, the most difficult times, the hardest times throughout human history. Very soon, the wrath and judgment of the Lord will fall upon the earth. Prepare yourself. Prepare your hearts, prepare your homes, prepare your families. Speak to them about Jesus Christ. Share with them about his soon return. This will take place. It is scriptural. So you either believe scripture or you don't. To believe only part of scripture is silly. You're either 100% either committed to Jesus Christ or you're not. And that's, that's scriptural. Today, please hear this message, hear this warning. Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. Very soon. I emphasize that very soon. It is still possible we may have to go through some trials before the tribulation, before the rapture of the church. Because I believe the rapture will initiate the tribulation. Because the Holy Spirit, the restraint will be removed. Scripture tells us this. And all hell will break loose on earth. During your tribulation, if you receive a mark to buy and sell things, if they, if they implant you, tattoo you, whatever it is, if you receive that mark in your right hand or your forehead, you will not enter into heaven. Understand that. You will have, you will have forfeited your salvation. Don't take that mark. Choose death. Proclaim Jesus Christ. Do not take that mart if you find yourself in the tribulation. When Christ returns after the seven-year tribulation, he will destroy everyone and everything left here. Understand that. The love of Jesus Christ is now. The wrath will soon follow. Understand this. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ today. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And as, and as always, it's in the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I pray. Amen. Bye-bye, guys.